我是罗家的母鸡。我很喜欢吃冰淇淋。The chancellor of this university just said this at the college graduation. Well, all I can say is, "Hi, Joe, Maria, yo, hi, Art." That's that's sort of my Asian version of his.、Uh... What? Yo, we gotta、uh, run that back real you, quick. Play it one more time, please. Hi, Joe, Maria, yo. <laughs> All right, man. Let me tell you, let me tell you this: PhD Chancellor at Purdue University Northwest Campus is in a lot of hot water. It's going viral, and not just us talking about it, guys.、Uh, the NBC News, Washington Post, NY Post. I'm sure New York Times is going to talk about it. Everybody is talking about it, guys. Not just Asians who are slightly offended. Everybody actually, because this is academia. He's a PhD. This is the chancellor at a graduation. Yeah, this is way、wow. different than like Speed doing it in Qatar, you know, to a Chinese fan because he's just like crazy streaming. This is literally somebody who is the head of diversity and inclusion at Purdue Northwest. Yo, head of. By、diversity. the way, Purdue Northwest is more like I guess like the C Team campus is a little bit of the like satellite that has、yeah. like you know per- Purdue University. The main campus is is higher ranked than this campus. Regardless. People think it's Purdue University. Yeah, that's why it's bad. And I think it's bad because he issued like sort of a half apology where he's like, you know, we're all human. We all mistake, make mistakes. And then Purdue, the main campus, said,、uh, you know, there's nothing else to say. We accept this apology. And then <laughs> everybody was like, wait, what about like hearing from somebody Asian? Well, all right. Here's the thing, and I'll be honest, guys. I, I'm not trying to cry wolf about everything, about every single time an Asian person gets mocked on the internet. That's not why we hear her making this video. But by the way, if we did want to do that, we could do it all the time. Oh, we'd make millions of videos.、Um, however, it's just like this. Just kind of kind of goes to show you that even people in academia, people who are some of the smartest, brightest minds in the world, people who who are supposed to be so intellectual, can still. Just divulge themselves and and just sorry devolve themselves into being these like seventeen eighteen year olds making the same ching chong joke that has been going on for decades. To be fair, Andrew, he he is like eighty years old and he is from Indiana, bro. And he came from I believe Andrew. We looked up his profile. He's from Central Florida. Yeah. So this guy actually has zero exposure to Asians. Ke- I looked it up. Keon is apparently an Irish last name. I'm not saying he's <laughs> Irish. I'm just saying. But but listen, it was so.、Uh, this guy doesn't care about Asians for、no. sure. He does not. I, I'm sure he's like, oh yeah, them smart little buggers are like little math testing robots.、Yeah. But and, he doesn't respect. And it、them. is extra offensive to Asians because Asians really care about academia. Listen, a、no. chancellor of a college is somebody that an Asian family would be like, oh yeah. Oh my gosh,、uh, David Thomas we, Keon. He is a great guy.、Yeah. Have him over for dinner. We are having the chancellor over. Hey,、uh, Xiao Ping, Xiao Ping,、yeah. Ping, please no, make make him like, make like I'll cook for like six, seven, eight hours for、yeah. the chancellor. We're、course. going to make the famous Xiao Mai that we always have, you know. And、uh, <laughs> they would be so honored to have a chancellor over. But then the chancellor is just mocking an Asian language. Now, I get it, mocking an Asian language. This is not the worst thing I've heard. Okay, about Asians, I get it, but. It's just bad in this context because this is not an open mic comedian. You can't be doing this kind of thing. Literally, so- this joke, Andrew. I think the last time this joke killed was an open mic in some sort of lizard lounge in like 1982. You know, like weekends at Bernie's yeah, era. Know, I'm I'm sorry to say, David. I I I don't know if I'd give people that much credit. I think it killed last year somewhere in America. All right. <laughs> Apparently in Indiana, because people still laughed at his joke, and there's some people laughing behind him. There's sort of like a mixed reactions. Like some people behind him are like,、mm, like we're about to be on the news, and other people are just like, ha ha ha. It was kind of funny to me. It、yeah. sounded like because it kind of says if initially it sounded like he did. Kind of, I'll give him this. He did a half notch better than Ching Chang Chong Ping Pang Pong. Yeah, because he. I, I, the, the, the gibberish Chinese is getting a little bit better nowadays. But I think it's so funny because all that time spent、uh, making gibberish Chinese, you could have just learned one Chinese phrase. It's not that hard. You could have said, "Wo han shi wan zhi bing qi ling," and that would have been hilarious. Like so, obviously, he doesn't know that meme. Probably, he doesn't care about John. No,、Cena. no, Andrew. People would rather speak. The gibberish Chinese for like five minutes straight, being like, "Ding, ding, dong, da, ping, ping, dong." What is he? What is he? What is he? What is he? Rather than literally learn like four words. Oh man! I mean, dude, he could have picked so many other accents. I mean, he could have picked a Gaelic one to do a gibberish of. He could have picked a Swedish one, like a 
Lashkin Well, why, why did he bad. just pick the one of whatever he is? Yeah. yeah like, what? He doesn't have any roots? See, this is what happens when you're not in touch with your roots, man. You go and, and try to pick out a race are, in mind to imitate really quickly, and then you just pick the Asian one, which is, of course, the easiest target, David. I, I mean, and, and I don't want to bring it back to this conversation, but if he did the similar thing with, you know, black people or, or, or a Latino accent or gibberish it would have been even five times worse. It's still bad with the Asian one, but this is why Asians have to react to this, right? Yeah, right? because why? like otherwise nobody else is going to care, to be yeah. honest. Uh, we got to play the clip one more time and then provide some context. Well, all I can say is... That's, that's sort of my Asian version of his... Uh... I, I, I got to say, after listening to it a lot of times, it's... It's kind of funny. <laughs> no, it's wrong. It's from a comedic standpoint. It's kind of funny. But anyways, there is a little bit more of additional context. Um, Andrew, this was the speaker prior to him. He was talking about how he made up a made up language. I think this is what got Thomas Keon hype. I have a thing on the air. If you ever listen, I sometimes just roll off into a made up language and I've taught it to my granddaughter. So if she cr starts crying or this baby over here starts crying, I have something for them. It's Ishka Malufka language. And I got it, man. You know how you could have saved yourself even after you said that? Hi, yeah. You could have, instead of saying that was my Asian version, all you had to say was, yeah, that was my, uh, Swedish version. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. If you just said that, all oh, this would not have been a big deal, man. Because, like, you know, it's, like, so vaguely, like, what it was kind of Asian, but it was just, like, you, you just had to say Asian. Anyways, guys, do I think that Thomas Keon is the worst person in the world? No, no, no. no. But, but he, get his ass out of there, yeah, bro. He got to retire after I, this. He got to resign, th bro. This is why we need term limits for certain positions in America, all right? I, I'm, I'm pushing for term limits for, for, for politicians, too. Listen, anyway. this guy had a good career... But he's stuck in the old days, man. He is completely anachronistic at this point. He is outmoded and outdated. It's time to swap out the old computers. It's not like you're condemning the old computers to hell. David. You're just saying, yo, listen, we got to replace you guys because we got to take your keys away, Grandpa. One last really funny bit of information is that the new president coming in of Purdue University Northwest campus, of this campus, is going to be a Chinese man. <laughs> so that to me is hilarious because he's going to come in there. He's like, uh, yeah, um, so Thomas, uh, I saw what you did at the graduation. And I have to tell you, that is exactly why you will never be president and you will remain a chancellor. And nobody knows what a chancellor actually does. What, what if he actually wanted to retire because he's like, no, nah, I'll never be ruled by a China man. And then he goes, uh, I, I, I know how to go out with a bang. You know, my whole career, I've been working in academia, but I want people outside of this bubble to know my name, Thomas Keon. Say my name. <laughs> well, hey, listen, if my theory is correct, Andrew, by all means, Thomas Keon, mission accomplished. <laughs> All right, everybody, let us know in the comments down below. Again, you know what? Uh, the truth is people are always, they always feel okay to mock Asians. And this is kind of the story. Like, this is just an ongoing <laughs> well, story. It's just it's part the, of Western society, the, of, like the, Anglo countries. <laughs> the saga continues, guys. So, yes, Asians should speak up about this because it constantly happens. And it should definitely not happen in academia. And, if it happens on the playground, I can almost understand that more. And, and to be fair, Andrew, it used to be uh, okay to mock other identities in America. But you know what I think really did help those other identities, Andrew? People of those other identities can be white. Interesting. I don't know. I'll we're leave just, it at that, We're just going to leave it at that, guys. But uh, let us know in the comments down below how offended you are by this. First of all, given the context, I definitely think it is offensive. But, yeah, I mean, whatever. You guys, you decide on your own. Let us know. Sound off. Uh, leave it in the comments all down right, below. How about this, Andrew? That's not the worst thing I've ever seen by far. You of know, course, even in a day out in New York City, I might see something crazier. But I'm telling you that is the goofiest thing I have ever seen at a graduation. From a university chancellor... PhD, su supposed to be supporting academic achievement and being intellectual, uh, big mistake. I anyway. wouldn't be surprised if at the 
A tier Purdue, they're like, yo, cut his ass. He's a liability now. Well, he's costing Purdue some money. I think some students are not going there literally because of this. And I think they're Asian students, by the way. I think they're like, uh, yeah, I'll just go somewhere else. Anyways, guys, let us know in the comments down below. We're the Hot Pop Boys. And until next time, we out. Peace. Peace.